Hey guys, this is Colby. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your character for walking and running animations with a more advanced foot IK rig, which will make it a lot easier to animate your character. So let's get started. So starting off, I'm going to delete half the rig, so that way I can just symmetrize it later on. So select half of your bones, like go up into edit mode on your armature, delete half. So now I'm going to make, change the viewport display of the armature to a different kind of setting. So if you go to your armature in object mode, go to this little icon here and click on viewport display and set the octahedral to stick. It makes it a little bit easier to see. So now that we're basically, uh, you know, resetting the armature, we can go ahead and undo the modifier on the mes base mesh. So anytime you parent a base mesh to any bone, it'll automatically add a modifier armature. We just can click the X button for now. And it will add it back in later automatically once we reparent it to the armature itself. So now we can start editing the armature itself. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and clear the parent of this bone and this bone. Because right now they're both parented to this one here. If you've watched my uh, previous video on how to rig an armature and how to set up inverse kinematics, this is basically where I left off. So basically, I made a mistake and I need to actually undo the parent on this one and change it to this bone instead. So select these two bones, press Alt P to clear parent. And now you want this bone to be parented to this one because it's the toe. So select this bone first, hold down shift and left click on this one. Press control P and it connected. So now they're both one piece. And so now we can pair this bone to the shin bone itself. So select this bone here and hold down shift. Select this one, control P again and keep offset. So now, this bone here, it controls the whole leg, but now that the f uh, bone is reset, it basically points to the ground, which is where we want to do. So now go back into edit mode on the armature itself. <coughs> Select this little point here, and press E to extrude from it, or we're going to move it to the back of the foot. So press E and then Y, and then move it right here. We'll use some arrows to make it a little bit easier to see. Basically just want it to move to the back of the foot. Let's clear the parent on this one. So clear parent. Let's rename this bone. So click on this little green bone icon and set the set it to whatever you want. So I'm gonna set it to heel uh, dot L. You can also name it like pivot wherever you want because it's basically going to control the arc of the foot whenever you move it up. You basically want this section of the foot to stick on the ground. And this bone here will actually help rotate the foot like this. It's kind of like a clock, so you can rotate it, uh, rotate it counterclockwise or clockwise to help rotate the foot around this point here. So now we're almost done with the video. Uh, go ahead and click this bone here and this one here. Just make sure to select these, this point and this point. Not the whole bone, just this one. Tips. Press E to extrude. And then Z and move it up. And let's clear the parents on them. So select this bone, press Alt P to clear parents, and do the same for this one. It's kind of hard to select when it's a stick. Let's rename them. So I'm going to name this one toeik.l. And I'm going to name this one here pivot.ik.l. Uh, occasionally, uh, when you extrude a bone from another one, you might create a duplicate. So, I actually have two bones here, and I need to delete one of them. And you can just rename this one again to pivot uh, ik.l. So, now we need to add an ik constraint to this bone here and this one. So, for this one, you want to set the target as this bone here, and for the foot.l, you want to set the target as the pivot.l. So, let's go into your object constraints and go into pose mode. And go to this button here. Set inverse kinematics. Set the targets. And set it as a toe.ik.l. Increase the chain length. Do the same over here. So, set, you know, add inverse kinematics. Set the target as the rig human. 
and set the bone as pivot ik.l increase the chain length again so now we need to finally just parent this bone here to this one because this bone you know like we said earlier it rotates on like a lever so we need to parent this bone to this one so, so that way this bone here can actually control the whole foot so select this bone first hold on shift left click on this one press Control p and keep offset so now when we rotate this bone here the foot rotates upward, but the toe stays on the ground, which is what we want. And if we control the direction of the toes with this bone here, and if you want, you could do this as well, but I recommend just leaving that alone. So finally, we need to create one more bone. So I'm going to duplicate this one, and we're going to move it to the bottom of the foot, like underneath the whole thing. Or you can do this one as well. So hold down Shift D, or select this bone here, press Shift D to duplicate. Move it down, clear parents. So Alt P, clear parents. Let's rename it to foot control L, or you can rename it master bone L or something. Anything you want. So this bone is basically just going to control the entire foot and allow us to move it all in one piece. And then we can use this bone separately to rotate it. So make sure that it covers the entire width of the foot, so one end to the other. And we're going to parent all the bones that essentially control the foot, the important parts. So this bone here controls a lot of the foot. So we're going to parent this bone to this one. So control P to keep offset. And we're going to parent this one and this one to this one as well. So control P to keep offset again. So now when we move this bone, it should move the entire foot as one solid piece. And when we rotate it, it also rotates on the toe. But this bone allows it to rotate still on this point here. So now we can move this entire foot as one solid piece, which is what we want. And that's pretty much the end of the video. So, uh, as always, you know, make sure when you're done with the rig, go ahead and symmetrize it. Go back to edit mode, select everything, and press right click and symmetrize. So it should pretty much create the entire set that we just created on the other side as well. Alright guys, that's the end of this video. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below and I'll try to answer them. And if you could please consider liking and subscribing to my video. It'd really help out my channel a bunch. And I can really do this more often. And it'll allow my channel to basically grow a lot faster. So if you just, you know, can do that, it'd really help me out. But anyways, uh, next time I'll be making a video on how to make a walking cycle with this character. And after that, I'll be making another video that shows how to animate large crowds of soldiers in formation so you know stay tuned guys so I'll see you guys next time